The government of India is facing a barrage of diplomatic outrage from Gulf countries over comments made by spokespersons of the ruling Bharatiya Janta Party. The BJP was quick to crack down on the offenders, suspending national spokesperson Nupur Sharma and expelling its Delhi media head Naveen Kumar Jindal over derogatory comments on Prophet Muhammad and Islam. The Indian Ministry of External Affairs today rejected the statement of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation on the issue, calling it unwarranted and narrow-minded. The MEA reiterated that the comments did not reflect the views of the government of India and called the statement of the OIC misleading and mischievous. This comes after the OIC on Sunday said that the controversial remarks occurred in the context of systematic practices against Muslims and called on the United Nations to take necessary measures to address the targeting of Muslims in India. The controversial statements had prompted several Gulf nations to call for a boycott of Indian products and led to Qatar, Kuwait and Iran summoning India's ambassadors to their countries. Qatar's foreign ministry said in a statement that Indian ambassador was summoned and handed an official note expressing its disappointment and its rejection of the remarks made by an official of the ruling party against Prophet Muhammad. The statement added that Qatar expected a public apology and immediate condemnation of these remarks by the government of India, since otherwise such insulting remarks would incite religious hatred. Saudi Arabia too officially re objected to the comments, adding, or according to a tweet by the country's foreign ministry. The ruling party, for its part, also issued a statement saying that it respects all religions and strongly denounces insults of any religious personality. Both the leaders have apologized for the comments after action was taken against them. The controversy comes at a time when Indian Vice President Venkaiya Naidu is on a three-day visit to Qatar. Indians are the largest expatriate population in many of the Gulf nations, with official data showing that nearly 6.5 million Indians live in the region. And for more on that, our principal diplomatic correspondent Sidan Sibal has sent us this report from New Delhi. Watch. In the aftermath of what has happened on Sunday evening, the summoning of Indian diplomats, the statements made by various West Asian countries over remarks made by now former members of the ruling party, there have been four statements, two statements by the Ministry of External Affairs and statements by the Indian Mission in Qatar and Kuwait. The statement by the Indian missions in both uh, the West Asian countries uh, uh, points out to the action taken and also saying that this is not the official policy of the Indian government uh, and the Indian government respects all faiths. Uh, but if you look at the statements uh, issued by the Ministry of External Affairs, this is in response to the statement made by the Organization of Islamic Cooperation and Pakistan uh, in uh, the statement uh, against OIC India has said that this is a misleading statement with Pakistan. India has pointed out that how uh, when it comes to Pakistan, its track record on minorities is something that is quite shameful. But uh, nonetheless, when it comes to this um, development that has happened, uh, the Indian side will be keen that there is a restoration of normalcy. West Asia is an important partner uh, in terms of people-to-people -people connect. Uh, the law of Indians in West Asian countries who send remittances back home. Energy is another key uh, uh, pillar of the relationship and of course uh, trade uh, with the GCC countries. Uh, if we can talk about almost $87 billion dollars of trade happened uh, in the last financial year. But uh, largely, if you look at uh, what India will be keen on is that the relationship continues and uh, the minor blip uh, uh, which has happened is uh, is something that uh, uh, can be uh, can be forgotten or of course uh, work can be done so that the relationship can uh, be smoothened. But uh, largely when it comes to India's relationship with West Asia, uh, we know that it is a very good relationship. The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself has uh, personally invested in relationship with many of these countries. He has been coming uh, to these countries and leaders of these countries have been visiting New Delhi. So all in all, while of course uh, it is something that uh, is uh, not a very very happy moment for the relationship between New Delhi and uh, these countries. Uh, New Delhi will be keen that uh, there is restoration of normalcy. With video journalist uh, Kapil Siddhant Sibyl for Vion in New Delhi.
Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.